Do you know how Ravan, the demon king of Lanka, became one of Lord Shiva's greatest devotees and received the divine sword Chandrahasa? Let me explain. The story begins with Ravan's envy towards his stepbrother Kubera, the god of wealth. Ravan wanted to teach Kubera a lesson and went on a rampage on Alaka, looting many of Kubera's possessions, including a pushpaka vimana. As Ravan was returning to Lanka on the stolen chariot, he stopped in front of the magnificent Kailash Mountains. Ravan was mesmerized by the beauty of the mountains and encountered Nandi, the bull-faced gatekeeper of Lord Shiva's abode. But Ravan's arrogance got the better of him, and he insulted Lord Shiva, which led to Nandi cursing him, saying monkeys would one day destroy him. Enraged, Ravan tried to uproot the Kailash Mountains, but Lord Shiva pressed the mountain with his toe, trapping Ravan under its weight. For thousands of years, Ravan prayed to Lord Shiva under the mountain, and his hymns were later known as Shiva Tandava Stotra. Impressed with Ravan's devotion, Lord Shiva forgave him and blessed him with the celestial sword Chandrahasa. Ravan used the Chandrahasa sword in many battles, and legends say that he even used it to harm Jatayu. However, as godly weapons like Chandrahasa can never be used for unjust causes, the sword returned to Lord Shiva.